Hi, this is Matt from Envision Community and today I wanted to talk about ideation. If you're not familiar with the term, it just simply means the collection of feedback in your community. Um, we have a fairly laid back approach um, for ourselves at Envision Community. We have a forum open to our clients and they can leave their feedback. Um, it's a mix of sort of feedback on us as a company and feedback on the product and we generally keep an eye on here, reply when necessary, and we can kind of judge when something's popular just based on the number of um, number of replies and views and something gets, and then we action that. Um, sometimes we action things quickly if it's uh, a simple fix um, with, a, with sort of a big impact. Recently, Sonia mentioned um, that the canonical links um, in pages didn't always make sense depending on the type of database you were using, and that made its way into 4.4.5, and that was generated um, in this very forum and we had a discussion about it and decided to implement that as, a, as it was a simple simple fix um, with kind of a quite a positive outcome okay but if you wanted a little more rigor um, with your ideation it's quite simple to do with Envision community um, we have a forum mode called question and answer which is primarily designed for kind of support communities where clients can come in, ask their question, and get um, answers from the team and the community itself. But um, as I'll show you now, um, it won't take much to get it working really, really well for sort of ideation. And I've already gone ahead and created this forum, but we'll just have a quick look at the settings. Um, and here you can see that you can choose the type of forum, and we've gone for questions. And that's really all, all I've done um, there. There's no other special settings used, it's just that one. And, and how that looks in action. Um, we can see instantly it's a different layout from the traditional sort of forum um, layout um, list of topics. Um, we have the ability to upvote questions. Let's have a look at one of the test questions I added earlier. So this has already been upvoted once by another member of the community, um, which kind of shows you as a developer or community manager that this is, this is starting to get some traction. Um, you can also allow your community to comment on these questions, and these questions, uh, sorry, and these comments can also be upvoted and downvoted, which is a good way because sometimes you will find that someone will have an idea, and then other members of the community will kind of enrich that idea or want to develop it further, and the community can show their support for certain um, comments, or perhaps less desirably. Um, if they don't want something to happen, they can they can downvote it. Um, you can remove the ability to downvote if you wanted to keep it completely positive, but just for the purposes of this demonstration, I've left um, downvoting. You can also mark a question as the best answer. So, for example, if your community team that are keeping an eye on these things do eventually put something on a roadmap or want to action your action this sort of ideas in any way, they can flag it as the best answer and that is then shown at the top to say people scrolling through potentially pages of um, a topic. And that is a good way of showing on the list page um, which have been answered by your team and which haven't. You can also see here very quickly which have votes and which don't and um, which have replies and which don't. Also there's a handy box here, um, kind of a quick overview uh, which shows you sort of the most popular questions and questions that have not been answered um, by a member of your team. Now this gets you kind of 95% of the way there but you can see that it, it still wants to talk about questions and answers which doesn't quite fit in with the idea of ideation However, there is a really quick solution to that, and we will use the quick translation tool. Just switch that on. And then when we refresh on this page, we can then click and hold any piece of the interface with text, and then we can just start to change the um, context. And there we have just a, just a few um, a few short sort of uh, minutes adjusting the um, text of the interface, then changes the sort of look and feel of it, and it kind of is more in line with ideation. And we'll just switch that tool off. 
By the way, this is probably one of the most underrated features in Envision Community, the ability to sort of quickly translate the interface. You know, when you talk about translation, you often think about trans translating it into a different language, which is obviously one of the most popular um, uses of the system. But you can also use that quick translation tool to just tweak the interface, um, say if your community used to run on, a, on a, an older forum system, and people are used to calling topics threads, you can use that tool just to quickly really scoot around the interface and just update where we say topic to thread. It's quite a nice way of making your members feel more comfortable and doesn't require any special coding. So there we go. Um, we can see now that we use ideas, ideas from uh, submit a feature request. So it feels more in line with collecting feedback and ideas from your community, but you still maintain, uh, you still retain these um, extra tools, which helps you organize your feedback allows your community to vote on other people's ideas so you quickly get an idea of which I, which feature requests are popular and which are not, um, which should help you start to formulate your roadmaps if you use um, customer feedback as part of your roadmap planning. That's it, very short video, hope you found this useful, thanks for listening.